In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the diff command. Uh, given a default or secure Ubuntu installation, something you've created um, that you know is good, we can use that on a Ubuntu installation you need to check, for example, the Cyber Patriot competition. There are lots of files where small things may have been inserted that have uh, a large security impact. And we can utilize the diff command to find out, well, what things have changed on this installation that I need to check. Now, I will not be using two operating systems here. I'll just be using a folder, and I'll be making the statement, OK, let's pretend like this folder is on another computer. We'll do that later. Uh, here I am on my default user inside of Ubuntu. You can do this in Amazon Web Services. You can do this on VirtualBox. Definitely want to use a uh, VM that is disposable that you don't care about too much because we'll kind of make some crazy changes here. Let's go ahead and MKDIR. Let's just make a folder called diff test. And I'll CD into diff test. And let's talk about how we can compare. First of all, let's just do two simple files. We'll talk about how to compare one to one. And eventually we'll talk about important directories and how to kind of look at entire directories to find out if anything has changed across many files. So let's pico a file called a.txt. And we're going to type some lines. Do it just like this. One, two, three, you guessed it. Four. I'll go ahead and hit enter at the end. So I'll save that. That is a.txt. I'm going to exit this. Now let's create a file called b.txt. Let's change this one. This is going to be one, three, four, five. So we have two files that are different, a.txt and b.txt. Let's visualize this. We're going to take this diff test folder, we're going to split it off to the left, and we are going to open up gedit over here on the right where we open up a.txt and b.txt. Let me pause the video while I do that. And let's get our gedits over here. If you open gedit and then just open a.txt, you can create a new, you can open a new file. It'll come open in a tab, which you can drag down and split down here. So I have a.txt, I have b.txt. Take a second and get it open like that. If you are not in a graphical environment, um, you can split this open inside of like Pico in a couple of different shell sessions. So let's just diff these two files. So I'm going to do diff and then a.txt and then b.txt. We're going to say show me the difference between these two and let's look at the output and discuss what it means. So I have 2D1, I have this less than sign 2. We're going to cover all of this and we'll look at how it relates. I have 4A4, we have a greater than sign, and 5. Now eventually we'll want to dig down and you'll want to look inside of two files and see what's different in it. It's helpful to be able to interpret this. Uh, there's simpler output we'll look at later on. But here's what this output says. Okay, so the first number is always going to relate to the first file that you typed in. And then we're going to have a symbol, and that symbol is going to be one of three things. It's going to be a D, it's going to be an A, or it's going to be a C. And so D means delete, A means append, C means change. So it says, okay, in the first file, line two, we need to delete line two, in the first file and it says right here this less than sign says uh, that inside of the first file the line we're referencing is the line that has the number two on it so when it's pointing to the left here it's pointing to the first file it's just giving us a heads up there so at line two I'm going to delete two now, if I delete that, it says, okay, if you make that move, here's what the second number means. It means the two files will be synced up at line one, they'll both be the same. And so after deleting line two from the first file, which has two in it, everything is now synced up from the first line. So here's the first line and it goes one and it goes three and it goes four and everything now syncs up until that point. 
So the second one says on the fourth line, it's telling you what to do in the first file. How do we change this first file? In the fourth line, we need to make an append or at. And we need to add from the second file five in order for these two files to sync up at line four. And so at this case, um, I can add five at line four in the first file. And I can see now that these two files sync up at line four. And that's just sort of a visual way to look at it. And you can look up, you know, how to interpret diff output. And that's basically how that works. So that's just the basic diff command and getting set up in the next video. We'll look at some flags and we'll get into this a little further. And then we'll talk about comparisons and uh, how we can use it for security.